lucky enough to get gifted a pair of Adidas Superstar skateboarding editions at work, right? I got given a pair because I think they were using them for a shoot. And luckily, they happened to be my size, which is crazy because I've got a big foot. I'm basically a UK 10. But now because of my feet have grown fatter or bigger or longer, I now have to wear a US 10.5. So I've got a really meaty 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 foot it's not small it's not cute it's a big foot and to go and get free shoes from anyone especially stuff to do with the shoots that means the model they used was a was a massive boy and luckily that massive boy was the same size as i was and luckily that massive boy didn't even wear them they were completely brand new in the box and everything and luckily for me i also got the chance to have a pair of shoes in a US 10.5 because actually my left foot is slightly bigger than my right foot and it can sometimes be difficult depending on what you know the length of the shoe and the shape and the width of it sometimes if I get a US 10 it can pinch so I have to take out the insole in order to fit if you're a sneakerhead you'll know that trick if your foot if your shoe's a bit tight take out the insole it lowers your foot down a little bit into the shoe but it can still be tight but it can be manageable enough for you to get the look off go and stunt in the city impress some girls and come back home but i've been wearing these so i've got these Adidas superstar blacks uh, sbs as you can see there they're really cool as well because they're an sb model they've got this really strange neoprene type fabric on the upper so it looks it feels like suede and new buck but it feels a little bit different maybe it's in waxed so i'm assuming if you're skateboarding in these and you're going to be rubbing them against the grip tape doing your ollies and stuff it can keep the condition it can keep um it doesn't rip or anything or get all tatted up and stuff the shell toe bit because i remember wearing shell toes once when i was in church ages ago that was a time when you know we would honestly the church i used to go to was flipping amazing because we'd go there every sunday and basically stunt so I was, that's when I was really super into sneakers. That's what, when I was like, well, maybe 18 to 21 or something. And what I would do is that every Sunday I'd try to wear a new pair, like a brand new limited edition one. And the other guys that I was in church there with, with some of my friends I used to go to church with, were also into sneakers and they'd buy some interesting things. But the thing I liked about that crew in church is that they were real sneakerheads in my opinion, because they weren't always obsessed with buying the limited edition thing. They would sometimes go at TK Maxx, go to JD Sports and pull something and make it look amazing. That was what sneakerhead was. That's what being a sneakerhead was about. Nowadays, I feel like being a sneakerhead is about buying the most limited edition, the most wildest, you know, shoe that you can find. And if it's rare or if it's made in low quantity, then suddenly it becomes desirable, no matter if it doesn't look good or whatever it may be or if it's ugly or not which is weird but for me i felt like being a sneakerhead was like finding something on a you know on the size office offspring jd sports tk max sale rack or whatever or something that had been you know sent back or something that's a b grade and then making it work that was actually what a sneakerhead was all about and i remember there was a period of time in church we were all wearing superstars for some reason i don't know what the deal was but everyone was wearing superstars and if you remember the old superstar that came with a label they used to come with a little tag on the side and we used to wear the tag and let it hang down. And I remember a couple of boys in our church would um would stuff a sock behind the back of this tongue to make the tongue pop out. Or what they do, they'd fold the sock and put it inside of a sock. So you, you, you put a sock on top of your foot and then you put a sock over it. So it made your foot look like it had a bump and then that will make the tongue come up a bit. So it looked like an old skateboarding shoe. So you had that fat tongue look. Really, really funny. But now obviously people like stuff to look slim and slivet and really kind of, you know, slow profile. So these are really, really slim in terms of their profile. Look at that, right? They're really slim in that way. The, obviously the tongue is just the normal tongue that you'd get really flat, nothing that goes onto it. But the skateboarding little touches I like with the addition of the elastic on the inside and you can't see it here but there's elastic on the inside of the tongue so you can basically wear them laces if need be but it keeps the foot there the upper of course like i said it's like a it, i don't know I, I guess it must be new buck but it feels a bit waxy so it's really nice in terms of the feel and they're super comfortable and i don't have to take an insole out see the insole is still inside there I don't have to take it's the first shoe I've had in, a, in many years without not taking the insole out or because I've got a 10.5. So I think my size might have to be 10.5. But the issue I have is that most shoe companies don't make, well, shoes companies and boots companies don't really make half sizes. Usually they always make flipping um, four sizes. So if I do want to wear something like a 10.5, I have to size up and get a flipping 11 
which is a bit crazy because I'm so used to wearing shoes that are a bit small. Now I'm going to have to wear shoes that are a bit big, but I just want to have shoes that are comfortable. I don't want to be, you know, the guy that I am now where I'm wearing shoes or trainers for like six hours and I have to come back home and change and then go back out again. It's a little bit redacted. It helps that I've got a bicycle, so that may, may help things. But in general, I think it's better just to have shoes that fit. But I'm liking the style. I'm liking the comfortability. I'm liking how versatile superstars are. Again, I was somebody that when it comes to the originals adidas stuff i'm not really a big fan of campuses um i can't really i'm gonna try to make the gazelle works again or the sambas but i'm sure my foot isn't going to be able to fit in them or make them look good so there's i'm quite limited in some of the stuff that i can wear the zx is obviously are quite nice from adidas and they've got a few other bits and bobs like the what's everything that i like it's like a court shoe i forgot the name of it but that court shoe is quite nice the one that bad bunny did is quite a nice collaboration they got some decent stuff but i think this might be one of the first that i'm like you know what i'm gonna try and get these and there's another pair also that i'm gonna throw up on the screen here i forgot the name of them i think the the skate is called caden or something like that and he's got a pair coming in a purple and I think they're the same sort of material. Maybe they may be suede. And there's also another pair come up in the navy. So I'm gonna try to get my hands on them. But I don't know, man. So far, so good. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan. I've only worn them a couple of times, as you can see. They're not being bashed up that much, and I'm a big fan of them in general. So I'm gonna try and get a pair, hold up, get, a, get a hold of a, a few more pairs. Unfortunately, I didn't have two set of laces. I had to put laces from another shoe on there, so it's a bit longer on the other side. But so far, so good. And obviously, I'm a stickler for black and white shoes. I have so many, like legitimately so many. I actually put up another picture where you'll see an old picture of my shoe collection. And you can see all the black and white shoes I had in the past. But I've got a lot of black and white shoes or black base shoes that I like to wear all the time because, you know, I like to look like I'm going to rob people when I'm the sweetest guy in the world. But yeah, I'm a big fan of those. So I can't wait to have more of them in the future.